Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we will learn about finding the distance between two points. Let us have this illustration. Given these two establishments drawn on the coordinate plane, what is the distance from mercury drug to pure gold or from pure gold to mercury drug? The mercury drug is at point 31 on this coordinate plane and pure gold is at point 101. The horizontal distance is 7 units. How did we get that? By just merely counting the number of units, we can find the horizontal distance on the number line. Or by just simply finding the positive difference or absolute difference of their x coordinates. Next illustration. What is the distance from Metro Plaza to Cebuano Willier or from Cebuano Willier to Metro Plaza on this coordinate plane? The Metro Plaza is at point 35 while Cebuano Willier is at point 3 negative 2. That is 7 units. Just like what you have done a while ago, just merely counting the number of units on the coordinate plane, you will find its vertical distance. Or find the positive difference or the absolute difference of their y coordinates. Next, what is the distance from point 31 to point 6 negative 4 on the coordinate plane? Or given the illustration, what is the distance from Jollibee to pure gold or from pure gold to Jollibee? In this case, we will be using the distance formula. And the distance formula is defined by the equation d is equal to the square root of the square of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Let's go back to our problem. What is the distance from point 31 to point 6 negative 4 on the coordinate plane? So first, let us assign the first point as 3, 1, and the second point as 6, negative 4. Again, to find its distance, we will be using the distance formula. First, you are going to identify the value of x sub 2, and that is 6 on our given point. x sub 1, 3, y sub 2, negative 4, and y sub 1, 1. Then, substitute all those values to our given formula. So, that will be equal to d is equal to the square root of the square of the quantity 6 minus 3 plus the square of the quantity negative 4 minus 1. Then, simplify the square of the quantity 6 minus 3 and the square of the quantity negative 4 minus 1. It is the same as d is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus the square of negative 5. Then, find the square of 3 and the square of negative 5. That is equal to, d is equal to the square root of 9 plus 25. And then simplify 9 plus 25. That is equal to, d is equal to the square root of 34 or approximately 5.83. So, the distance between 0.31 and 6 negative 4 is the square root of 34 or approximately 5.83 units. You may try this one. Find the distance between 0.3 negative 4 and 0 0.5 negative 5 negative 1. You may pause first the video before you check your answer. So, here's the solution. Let x sub 1, y sub 1 be negative 5, negative 1 and point x sub 2, y sub 2 be point 3, negative 4. Then use the distance formula. Then identify x sub 2. That's 3, x sub 1, negative 5, y sub 2, negative 4 and y sub 1, negative 1. Then substitute. Then simplify. Then find the square. Then simplify. Then therefore the result is d is equal to the square root of 73 or approximately 8.54. So therefore the distance between these two given points is the square root of 73 or approximately 8.54 units. You may also try to solve this problem. Find the distance between 0.62 and point negative 0.18. Now, what if you forgot our formula? 
the distance formula. And what is again our formula? That is d is equal to the square root of the square of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus k the square of the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Now, if you forgot the formula, you may follow these four steps. So, first is you are going to subtract the values of x on the given two points. So, this is our first value of x and this is the second value of x. So, subtracting them, that's 6 minus negative 1 and this is equal to 7. Then, also subtract the values of y. This is our first value of y and this is the second value of y. So, 2 minus 8 and that is equal to negative 6. Second step is you square your result on step 1. So, what is the square of 7? This is equal to 49. And square also negative 6. This is equal to 36. Third step, you combine your result on step 2. So, this 49 plus 36 is equal to 85. Then, fourth step is you take the square root of the result in step 3. So, that's it. Or you can also have this as approximately 9.22. You can also reverse the process. That is, you start with the second point to the first point. So, let's see if we get the same result. So, let us subtract first the values of x. That's negative 1 minus 6. And this is equal to negative 7. Then, 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, second step is you square the result in step 1. So, what is the square of negative 7? That is equal to 49. Then, what's the square of 6? That's equal to 36. Then, combine your result in step 2. That's 49 plus 36 is equal to 85. Then, take the square root of your result in step 3. So, square root of 85 or approximately 9.22. So, they have the same result. Even if you start on the first point, going to the second point, or from the second to the first. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video.